solve the devil. I always I, I like a good revenge. Uh, the shit was good, right? It, it, it was it was cool. I, I would have um no it was uh, fine it was good. Thank I, you. However, <laughs> the gore and the that the sadness of the movie is not what I can attribute to you not watching it in ten years. Well, look, I was a different person back then. I'm just saying. I was a different, I'm different just saying, I hear you. Well, thank I, you, thank I, you. I, I hear you. I wouldn't necessarily attribute that as the reason. Um, me personally, um, it just, it kind of fulfills the purpose and then it's like, that's it. It's like, oh man, okay, that was cool. And then you kind of leave it on. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that jarring as to where I was like, oh man. You said well, the expertise is mighty high. For me, this shit, was, I think this, this movie was amazing. Like, I, I think it did the revenge trope genre very well. You know, you solely watched him lose. I mean, he, he, he to be like you said at the beginning, man. He he lost everything within the first ten minutes of the movie. Yeah, the he king. lost he lost everything, yeah. and you thought he couldn't lose anymore. But yeah, you, you watch him go through this through this through this experience and just continue to take L's. <laughs> Did he not? Well, he took one L. I don't think he took any more L's. Um, me personally. Like, uh, he, he lost his, well, her family took some more L's. Her family took some more L's, too. Um, it, it, he, he kind of, it, it was a little bit, like, he, uh, he called it underestimating them, but it was, I think it was just a lack of preparation for what it was he was about to do. It was one man, and he would have been fine if that guy didn't run his fucking mouth. I, I, I beg to differ. I just think, uh, once again, it's not like he was. I thought the track was on the car, which uh-huh. is I, I was I, I was worried about how they kept tracking him. In it. But then when I found out he swallowed it, I was like, oh, well that wasn't gonna last long. Yeah, I thought I was like, all he needed was good diarrhea, you no, know, and that's what good, he said. Yeah, and and all, he, all he did was expedite the process, but it was like, yeah, that was yeah gonna happen. I mean, uh, if, you know, he was a man of a certain age, he was gonna. We're <laughs> <laughs> just saying the bowels was loose. He was gonna be on that toilet. Uh, yeah, it was cool though. It, it was cool. It was um, I love watching movies from other countries because I love seeing how. Hmm, let me compare that to uh, let me. How would that work in an American version? Uh huh. In my mind, I view there would have been a little bit more with the police. So, like the police is one thing that I, we sort of started talking about during the actual movie, and my thing was a D with the police incompetent in this one. And B, do you think the police would have eventually caught him? And that he was just, the other guy was just in the way. The, the protagonist was just in the way. How can I truly say the police was incompetent? They never showed him doing anything. Well, I feel like they were always just like right there. They so were, like, okay, all right. Wait, 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 wait. All right. In the beginning, they boom. They were like, all right, we got four suspects. These, these are four motherfuckers. We think he did it. We're going we're gonna to investigate some more and figure it out. Mm-hmm. All right. Two, they showed up at the kid, at his workplace like, they were just like right on his tail. They, they, they just they just missed him at work. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that that means that they they knew that he was he, they were closing in on the nigga. So they were they were right there. They didn't catch him, but they were right there. And I feel like he might have gotten in his own way and, and stopped that from happening. Because like I feel like here in the states, I feel like the police are portrayed as incompetent, and I didn't get that feeling. Like like they're like always bumbling kind of thing. Yeah. So, like, where do you stand? Well, for one, when he showed up to his job, the job immediately started calling him, and he was like, oh, well, I'm about to get fired. Well, they told him. He said, get his ass on the phone. Yeah, but he, he knew he was about to get fired, which then chose, which then for, uh, forced him into acting erratically and then uh, kidnapping the schoolgirl and, you know, and doing it that way. Ah, so what you're saying is the schoolgirl didn't fit his M.O., and that yeah, no. that was a rush. Yeah, that yeah. was like, well, I got to take something. Yeah, and, and that and okay. that would immediately lead to his. Oh, he, he's guilty because oh, this girl was on your school bus. She ends up missing, and we already had your suspect. Well, so that okay. that that expedited because he obviously had no problem with being caught or going to jail. I mean, you know, he operated in a manner that uh, let me not get caught. Okay, but even still, by his by his, the way he was uh, moving on his last. On his last kill, it was like, okay, 
He obviously doesn't care. Um, however, but because of the police, it did force that. Do I think they were competent? No, because one, I don't feel like we got enough of, once again, in the States, Western movies like this, we see how the independent investigation affects the main police investigation. Right. Or vice versa. Or how one gets completely in the way of the other. Mm -hmm. Or how the, uh, the other one wouldn't get this far if it wasn't for... We see that. In this, he acted... In, he got the lead from the police. He acted independently. And if it wasn't for him acting independently... Uh, not not because they um not because they screwed up in any way that I felt they did um you know what I'm saying but he was able to save the girl's life oh you mean the first school girl there was another school girl well the first girl the first one the school girl yeah yeah okay yeah yeah okay yeah. okay I thought it was about like overall I didn't know you were still talking about that one that no one we're talking about that one I mean okay I'm, you asked me did I feel like they were incompetent I, the answer right. is no I don't feel like we got enough of them All right, okay, to the point where hold up, to the point where it took me to like a third through the movie till I realized he wasn't actually a police officer secret service yeah <laughs> secret service I'm like oh that's right that's right he that's that's right like how did I not know this guy like and that and that kind of was like I feel like. In in Western in a Western movie, it would have been a little bit more with the police chief being like, "This is my invest. That's my daughter. Damn it! Yeah. I'll solve the case." And yada 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 yada. And then him be like, "That was my wife." You know, it it, it show up. This is how they do it. This is how he's doing it. Right. And it would have worked. But no, I just he basically got the blessing from the father in law, and went renegade. All right. Okay. What about the what about towards the end when he was going to turn himself in in front of the fucking police station, and they still weren't able to capture his ass. Fucking block, all four corners full of police officers, and these motherfuckers still lose him. How do how does the police captain explain that shit to his superior? Well, the motherfucker was driving really fast. You know shit. How are we supposed to catch him? Well, man, he did pull some uh, fast and furious shit when he broke that door off. I was like, what is, is he about to? I actually saw that. That, that was actually in the movie. Yeah, fat part of fast and the furious. I don't think it was Fast and Furious movie. They definitely did that shit in the Fast and Furious, man. They broke the door off, and then he, and then dude, damn, what movie was that? And then he, he slid the car, and I can't remember what movie it was, but it, it was, it, I don't know if it was Fast and Furious, but anyway, but yeah, I don't think you could account for that. Dude said he was turning himself in, you know, here he is. Okay, if they thought it was going to be easy, why did they fill a block up with, with police officers? If it was just a simple, well, he's going to turn himself in, so, you know, let's just wait for this nigga. It's about What's what, the, no, 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 no. It's about what you prepare for. Would they prepare for him to get away? I don't get away how, bro. If a spaceship, well, if, if, a, if an alien spacecraft flew over well, here, sure, but it won't. It was just, it was. If you Marvin know. the Martian came through well, and rescued him, well, like, guess yeah, what? Prepare for that. Like, well, guess what? You could explain that shit, but look, nigga, it was the, it was the Martians. Like, what the fuck you want me to do? I wasn't expecting no renegade. Uh, you mean the same renegade that you knew who was chasing his ass the entire time? The same renegade that you knew who was chasing his ass the entire fucking time? I mean, he this caught, same renegade who we just finished seeing. You talking shit to him? Give well, him, we give him the goddamn know, phone. But well, we didn't know he was chasing him that entire fucking time. They did. They had their suspicions. No, because they, they even went to the to the um, secret service teams. Were like, well, we got it. Won't you? I thought it was you. He was like, Nah, it was my crazy ass soon to be son in law. <laughs> I think they weren't per trying to directly portray the police as incompetent, but I don't. I don't. You felt like the police were portraying the incompetent? No, I don't think oh. they were. No, I'm saying I don't think they so were. So we in agreement. But I think there was some incompetence there. Yeah, are we, are we in, are we in agreement? Everybody was. Every, bro, hold on, I can't believe. Hold on, bro. Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm just used to like arguing. I'm, everybody, huh. everybody showed some like, main character show some like a uh, uh, some, a planet. Show some like a planet. Oh, bring the motherfucker to the police station while the guy sitting there talking shit. Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was it was it was some incompetence on all on all parts. Even the bad guy. Yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it, like, it was it was something all the way around. So I mean, human error, a human nature is human error. Uh, so it just comes with it. I'm glad it was. I'm glad it was shown all the way around with a bag. I was some super genius. All right, true. All right. Uh, one thing that you that you mentioned the trope that you hate was like you know towards the end the bad guy you know or the antagonist gets a little remorseful and starts to apologize and begging and all that shit. 
And well, we, did, we didn't get that. Well, no, we didn't. We all, they always have some way of showing. He always had to grovel. He always have some moment of we, the bag up. I never. It's, you know, it's like I, I never give in. It's like okay, I, I'll never give up. You can't. You'll never be me. It's like them with the bag of the table. Oh please, you wouldn't. Ki- you wouldn't. Hit- you wouldn't hit. You wouldn't hit me with your bats. <laughs> you wouldn't. You wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't kill me with your bat man. You wouldn't, you wouldn't hit a man with glasses. Oh. <laughs> You know, I like how he played upon that, but at the same time, no, I mean, everything he said was right. Just like, look, you already lost, and and I mean, the ending, like I said, and then my point to you, the ending, while it gave us the scene of him crying, walking off, it was played a little bit more so, like it was a triumphant victory. Like I'm I just, gonna, I put him in peril. Now, all oh, the irony. His mother would be the his parents, like, eh, like what are these 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 folks ain't did nothing. And these folks ain't did nothing to him. I mean, ain't did nothing. They had, they raised the bad seed. Did they look proud of it? Well, that's the thing. That, that's how far he's fallen. I don't think they played that shit as like he he Ryan did. Nigga. I clapped. I, yeah, I gave that shit a clap. But, but, but you wanna why? You clap because it was right on cue. Yeah. Like every, the beats. It's not just. It's not. It's not what happened. It's the beats that took place. Like the way they played it out. Uh-huh. Oh, I'll live forever. I'm. Gonna, they'll never like, be me. Oh, mama, no, mama, no, open the door. Oh shit, my head. I come pick up my head and cry. Yeah, it's like. I'm like no, my baby, my serial killer baby. Like if you wanted me to cheer, it would have. To be, <laughs> you wanted me to cheer, it'd be like three months later or whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. and that nigga's just still hanging from a pole. He was like, he's like, he's like, intravenously, he's like giving him, a, not intravenously, my bad. He's like, has him like on the IV thing, like, oh, you still here? Like, uh, like mm-hmm. oh, good. Oh. Time for some more torture. <laughs> yeah, time for some more torture. Yeah, go ahead, wrap him up now. <laughs> it's like, you're like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Because he's, once again, the bad guy's right. You offing him is not going to do anything for you. You know, it, and on top of that, dude was getting ready to turn himself in, so it's not like you saved the streets. <laughs> and that's how he was just like fuck it he just went all the way monster was just like fuck it I, I'll become this guy I will do what he does and that shit did not help at all now he walking the streets crying like you know but maybe maybe this is what he needed maybe this is he had to go through this process to, to, to let it out cause as soon as that shit happened he went to work what'd you say that's, that's what you wanna see that's what the nigga supposed to do nigga supposed to cry a little bit and go right to work and, and, and handle that shit and that's what he did I will say this much. I mean, a, a proper ending would have been them both dying. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Yeah. It's funny because in my head, I remember them both dying at the end. Did you, should, you sure this is the movie you watched? No. I thought they both died. You seem to not know a lot about the movie. It's been 11 years. Mm. You know, I just remember it being a good movie. I was like, I need some time before I watch this again. It was a. Uh... Yeah. If you had to give it. A score, a brown or brown score. Give me, give me some parameters. We can go with, with a just out of ten. Would you go? Would you rewatch this? Would you go with this is good for its genre? How would you describe this shit? Would I rewatch this? It's, it's good for a genre. Check. Would I rewatch it? I'm. If uh, that's a tough one, like because like I like I said. I see why this is the this you haven't seen this movie in eleven years, and I don't have think it has anything to do with the content. It's just one of the, it, everybody has those movies it's like eh, that was cool, oh that was good, and mm-hmm. I'm gone. I have no reason to watch that again ever. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and no, and there's no offense to the movie. It's just like okay, thank you. I've I've experienced that, and there's, there's literally let's no reason on, to watch it. Let's move on. Literally no reason to watch it again. I I on second watch years and years later, I enjoyed that shit, man. That shit. I, I don't, I'm not. There's not gonna be a third though. There's not gonna be. A, I'm gonna go delete this from the from 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 the hard drive. But it was a third. A, a third there won't be a third not, watch. There will not be a third watch. But yeah. the first two watches, the, especially the first watch, was amazing. I, I just I remember thinking at the time, you know, I mean, this is this is this this came out at the beginning of the MCU. That's how old this shit is. <laughs> yeah, I see that. And I think I think they had a good story to tell here. Uh, they lost like at the end. They lost me a little bit, you know. Like I'm guessing they left the the, the the Secret Service captain alive so he could be alive without his daughters or some uh, shit. I so we should other. I'm gonna have to look that one up. Yeah, uh, we run. I would run that shit back when we get off camera. All right, but um, my thing is like I'm I'm uh, I wish there would have been a little bit more connection. Like damn, bro, you you accidentally kill 
the daughter of the police chief and a secret service man. The, the like, on her birthday. On her birthday. When her father had, when her father had her husband, her yeah. fucking fiance work extra, extra overtime. Yeah, like I wish that would have been. After she came from an orphanage. <laughs> I wish that would have been just a little bit more like, like. Probably like a little puppy orphanage too, just to make it extra sad. <laughs> like, like why, why her? Oh, uh, because I'm, because you, you know, like something, a little bit of reason to. Yo, but other than that, I have no gripes. Well, good. look, you know what, Matt? Let me stop you right there. Because I never thought about this, but the guy, his friend in the hospital, knew all about her. So it's like, maybe he was targeting her. Maybe, right. maybe there was, I'm just, Bro, I don't know. I'm not me. reaching right now. You are reaching. But like, how did he You're know? like Mr. How, Fantastic right how now. How did he know all about her? I don't know. We might have missed, we might have been at the dinner table. But what I'm saying is, so like, how did he know all about the girl that... So, like, okay. Oh, you mean how did the killer know? How did the killer know? Like, that shit ain't all in her fucking, um, in, in her wallet. Like, who you, her father is and what his job is. Well, and hold on now. We, we, we may, we may be... This is, I'll deduce this much. A high-profile crime like that would have been all over the news. All right, done. That, that makes perfect sense. Oh, man, my kid, that bitch? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Yes. Fair. Yeah. Like what you tell me earlier in the movie though. Like you know it's a movie. Tell me, goddamn it, I wanna have to infer everything. Yeah. But no, that makes perfect sense. But yeah. I I'll give him a pass on that one. How did he know? It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. Alright, so yeah, it was just he just saw a bitch pulled over. He's like, I'm gonna get to work. <laughs> yeah, he was like, Oops. Just fucking put the crowbar there and look at a bitch. Like, you know, you don't know finna do with this, right? <laughs> like, ooh, I fucked that up. Like, what you looking at me for? Like <laughs> Okay, what we like is this is this scenario where you don't beat the shit out of me with this fucking this fucking uh pipe? No, it's a rap. It's a rap. Alright, and speaking of a rap, this is a rap. Motherfucking I saw the devil. It should only took us a year to get here. Till next time. Peace. Peace.